Hi guys, I'm Lenin Mishra. I'm a data engineer in a company called Workspot in the Netherlands. Today I'm starting a Python tutorial where we not only cover the different functionalities of Python, but we also try to understand the basics. Now, why is that important? A lot of times when uh, we are coding, uh, we are only concerned with just finishing the problem at hand, right? We Google, we search for similar problems on Stack Overflow uh, and we try to come up with a quick solution to our problems. This does provide us the immediate gratification of solving a problem but comes at a price. We tend to forget to look beyond the obvious, right? We, we avoid the basics of everything because at that point it didn't seem relevant. However, that one time ignorance becomes a habit and our lack of basics start piling up. This is the quality that actually prevents us from becoming a good developer. I know I suffer from this filthy habit and I'm sure a lot of people out there knowingly or unknowingly are falling into this pit. From today, we are going to learn the basics of Python programming and we are going to focus on things that we usually tend to forget while trying to finish the bare minimum. This tutorial is about where does the print function come from? Now we all know, hello world is the first code that every beginner programmer writes. This is the first program. So let's try to write a hello world program. I'm using an ID called PyCharm. Uh, I usually use this uh, ID to write my codes. And let's just call it print.py. So let's write our hello world program. Now I'm using uh, uh, Python 3, so this is the format how we write. Now if I run this code, you can see hello world is printed to my std out, my standard output stream. Now have we ever wondered what does this print function do? Where does this uh, print function come from? What is the basic syntax? Like, how does this print function even work? A lot of times it behaves in a different way. Uh, if, you, if, if you have been coding with Python, we know a lot of things how this print function works. So let, me, let us go back to basics. It took me two years coding in Python to realize that I don't know what exactly the print function does. So here today, I'm about to tell you guys what is the basic thing behind the print functionality. Let's go to the Python documentation. This is the print function. This is where the entire print magic comes from. You can see uh, there are a lot of parameters inside it. There is an object, there is a separator, there is end, there is file, uh, file parameter. We are going to test all of these parameters now uh, in our console so you will have a better understanding of what the print function does. Let me first uh, put the print function in comments so we can refer to it wherever we want. So if we look at this, uh, a lot of parameters have been mentioned so we can actually write it like this. Right, so these are the parameters that go in our print function. Now you can see the, the file parameter here shows sys.sdd out. This is why whatever we print is printed to our standard output stream. Now what if we change this parameter? Let's figure this out. Now with the print function here, I'll give a parameter file and I'll say I don't know, test.py. Let's say test.csv. Do you think this will work? Well, the advantage of using such an ID is it uh, usually shows you an error like this expected type operational got string instead of. Yeah, so it's basically uh, this file parameter should not take a string as an input. 
so what do we do instead of giving it this let's say open test.csv in a writable format and now it doesn't show me any error so now let's run this print function you will see nothing was printed to my std out my standard output stream but now here we have a test.csv created and the print function has now printed to the test.csv file so this is how the file parameter works now let's look at this separator you can see there is a blank separator blank string with one space being used as a separator uh, in the print function now let's uh, work with this let's say I define x equal to 5 and y equal to 10 and now I want to print x comma y let's run this code now you can see this is how the separator parameter works it prints both x and y and then puts a space between both the variables the value of the variables so this is a separate separate function sep parameter this is how it works what if we change the separator parameter we say sep equal to let's put a pipe and then you will see now instead of a space we have a pipe between both the values so see this is how the separator uh, uh, parameter works in the print function now how, what if we uh, experiment with the end function let's say instead of slash n this basically means new line right uh, slash n so uh, well backward slash n sorry now if we just do print x comma y you will see it prints 5 space 10 and there is a blank line here what if we put the end parameter as a blank do you think something will happen let's check it out see so there is no blank line after a, a print function prints out our variables earlier there was a backward slash n so it was creating a new line but now since there is nothing it is going to it is not going to create any new line and it is just going to print to that line what happens if i print another line lenin is a dude i mean i can praise myself that's allowed so what if i print this do you think they will be printed to two different okay let's do one thing first let's print normally how we print yeah so when you print normally you see the first print statement prints 5 and 10 to the first line then this lenin is a dude is printed to the next line if i put the end parameter equal to blank how do you think this is going to work ideally what would happen uh, as uh, you might think is they both will be printed on the same line and exactly that's what happens so you see this is the theory behind the print function I'm sure a lot of you haven't thought thought about this print function how does it work what are the parameters it takes into account uh, in a long time no matter how long you have been coding because you know uh, we usually don't uh, what's the uh, relevance of knowing the theory behind the print function when we know exactly what it does I mean we know it in practice but believe me a lot of times this is just one example a lot of times when we try to forget the bare minimum we try, uh, we don't focus on the basics uh, that ignorance and that lack of knowledge just keeps adding up and then uh, when you're trying to solve a bigger problem all of those come back together and that is why I usually find people who are into stack overflow they start going there more and more instead of you know uh, stopping them uh, instead of writing a code themselves this is the reason so today we learnt about the print function thank you for watching uh, this python tutorial uh, i'll be regularly updating this channel with new videos 
please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can know when I have uh, released a new video so, so we can learn some new things that we haven't thought about. Thank you.